What's going on YouTube? The Jamin in here bringing you World of Tanks gameplay on the PS4. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted. I apologize. I'm super procrastinate and I've been playing World of Tanks trying to get the Boilermaker during this time and also Final Fantasy 15 came out which basically took took my life, my whole my whole life and sleep away. Um, if you're an RPG fan, I sorely recommend you get that. I I completely recommend you get that game. It's probably one of the best Final Fantasies that have come out in a long time. And that's just my opinion, IMO. Um, you know, I love Final Fantasy. I loved all their games. I've, I have I didn't say love. I've played them all. Um, I didn't like Final Fantasy 13. I thought Final Fantasy 12 was pretty good. Um, Final Fantasy 13 2 was, eh. Um, Lightning Returns, I didn't like it. Um, I love Final Fantasy XIV. If you're an MMORPG player and you're a Final Fantasy fan, I would. S that's another game I'd recommend. Um, it's a subscription based, um, but it's actually really well done. The story is awesome. The gameplay is really really sweet, um, and you get to create your own character in a Final Fantasy game, which is awesome. And um, I played that a long time too for a while there. I just couldn't keep up with the fifteen dollars a month. But, you know, I had to cut costs here and there, and that was one of them. You know, it's not a needed. Um, I would for sure love to go back and play it again. Um, you know, and maybe I will. It'll it'll all depend. But um, yeah, why am I talking about Fire and Fantasy and uh, World of Tanks gameplay? Uh, it's because I was just letting you know why <laughs> I haven't posted anything. Um, so, but I have a lot of gameplay. I have I deleted a lot of my older stuff. I have a lot of new stuff. Ace game, Ace Tanker gameplay. Um, some of these some of these new things. Um, and this one I'm basically talking about um, cliffs. And cliffs is a cool map in World of Tanks. Obviously, it's name name sorely because of all the cliffs and especially the cliff around the east side. Um, excuse me. Oh, the east side of the map. And as you can see, we have heavy tanks. Our tank destroyers are moving on to the 8-9 line of the map. Uh, we have a couple down the 1-2 line. And then if that's your, if you're a heavy tank, that's where you want to go. Um, if you're a medium tank, you're going to be where I'm at in the on the ridge line here. Um, also, too, forgot to mention I'm playing an M41A1 Patton Tier 10 medium tank. I actually really like this this. Um, Tank, I'm a huge medium tank, light tank guy. I do have some heavies. Uh, the T57 Heavy is for sh by far my favorite one. Um, it's probably one of the ones with my be the be my better uh, damage input. I think I looked my WN8 rating on my T57 Heavy, and I'm um, pretty like 2200 on that mat on that tank. So you can tell I've I like playing it, especially if I want to get my one WN8 up. If you don't know what your WN8 is, um, what World of the Tanks uses to say i guess your status like how you're ranked or your gameplay average or whatever be on a score um of up to like over 3000 or something like that and it takes in a lot of stuff in account which is really really cool and you can find that if you just google search wn8 and then you can actually search for console players um and then look up your name you can find out exactly what your wn8 score my t overall wn8 score is 1800 which apparently is actually really good it's like the light blue version if you ever play um, World of Tanks, um, the PC version. Um, but anyways, yeah. So with cliffs, like I said, you either go one, two line, eight, nine line. Uh, if you're a medium tank or light tank, I would say push the, the the lighthouse like this medium tank did. You know, if he had stayed up here, he would have had shots all on our one, two line guys from the top, and the gun elevation on all those tanks is not good enough to shoot up there, and you can just rain havoc on them down. Um, I think I have T57 gameplay of that and, um, as well, too, which I'll probably show at a later time. Um, but yeah, you can see I have full view of, like, left, the north side, south side of the map, this WT100, easy kill. Um, but yeah, you know, I, that's, I think learning how to play maps, learning the best places, depending on what kind of tank you are, um, is awesome. Um, it'll help, it'll make sure you win, it'll help you make, be you know, get better stats. It'll help you, um, you know, just become a better World of Tanks player. And if you if you play this game as much as I do, you want to make sure you win. It's way more fun when you win than when you lose. Um, and then, you know, I, I make these videos and I'm making some of these like how to or tips and tricks videos just because I want to make sure if you're playing World of Tanks, um, if you're watching this video, you might have found it searching for something, which means obviously 
you want to become better or you like watching some of this gameplay and that's kind of what i want to do with these videos and stuff like that too um and hopefully take kind of can see what i can do with tanks um on some of these and hopefully that'll help you become like i said a better world of tanks player um because that's what i did i watched videos on world of tanks i find out like what each tank does i watched you know weaknesses uh strengths of each tank in order for me to get better and um, have some of these really awesome matches that I have. Um, I actually got my first Riley Walters medal even after playing like 6,000. I've been shy. I've always come to 7. 7 is the highest. I have a lot of 7 kill games, but Riley Walters has always eluded me. Um, I finally got it the other day on a tier 5 tank of all tanks, so that's a mini the minimum tier you can get uh, a Riley Walters on, which is awesome. And so, yeah uh yeah that's what's going on uh hopefully you like this video like i said um yeah leave a like down below um i'll probably be posting hopefully i'll be posting more uh stuff here soon if i don't procrastinate and um yeah if i don't if you guys don't hear from me have a well you know you probably will hear from me before christmas so i'll just save that for a later date um so yeah there you go 3800 damage is pretty good for a tier 10 tank um, I didn't have my premium on, top gun, six kills, and yeah. Uh, like I said, leave a like below. Uh, if you liked this video, I'll be posting more map stuff and tips and tricks for things. Um, in the future, as future uh, gameplay videos are put out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.